On the mound for your Friars tonight is Sean Manaya. 30 year old left hander making his 13th start, sixth right here at Petco Park. His nine quality starts. First batter that uh, Manaya has faced, and he finally gets him. Struck him out on a slider. That'll work. On down. To right field, Mazzara moves in a few steps and handles out number two. Very late. Strikes him out on high heat. Two strikeouts in the inning. Down in order go the D-backs. Right-hander Zach Gallen on the mound for the Diamondbacks. Into that overshift. Jake Hager is the third baseman. He collects that one five three put out. Big cut by Profar at that changeup, which just kind of hung up there, but he missed it. And that'll work. Nice high hop for Christian Walker and a good one, two, three start for Zach Allen. We played one. Manaya and Gallon, Padres and Diamondbacks. No score. This is to right. And back goes Mazzara to make the catch for out number one of the second inning. Whoa. In there for a strike. Wow. Not sure about that, but it's strikeout number three for Sean Manaya. Two down. And the 2-2. Two -two. Thomas hits it on the ground left side. Kim looked at second. Nobody's there. So he goes to first for the out. Wow, that was a little scary. Inning and a half done without a score. And it's two and two on Luke Voigt. Got him. Went right back to that change. Two swings and misses on that changeup, and Gallon has his second strikeout. Gallon gets a swing and a miss that time with a curveball, and he struck out three of the first five. Boy, Zach Gallen between the changeup and that curveball has getting a whole lot of swing and miss. He has struck out five of the first six. Acquired by the Padres right before opening day, and Perdomo, as he often does, works a walk. And Luplo sends one out to center, oh, and it gets oh, behind baby. Grisham, and here goes Perdomo as it rolls all the way to the wall. Perdomo will score. Tony Paris Chica going to send him home. The relay is offline, and he comes all the way around. And inside the park home run for Jordan Luplo, and the D-backs are out in front two to nothing. What a gift for the Diamondbacks on that one. To right, and that'll drop in for a base hit. First Padres hit of the night belongs to C.J. Abrams. One two to left. Luplo going back, still going off his glove. Kicks out to left center field. Coming around from first is Abrams. He will score. Throw to third. Kim throws the brakes on, and he'll get back safely to second. Padres on the board. It's now two to one. O2. Carson sends one down the line. This is headed for the corner. Carson Kelly hits it fair. It's a fair ball in the corner. Profar will pick it up, and Carson's got a double. Well, Manaya gives up the two out double, and then his second base on balls of the ball game, and a chance now for Jake Hager. Two on and two out. Swing and a miss, Sam Manaya is able to strike out Hager. Diamondbacks strand a pair. It's 2-1 Arizona. Well, that's uh, maybe what they should have done with Luke Voigt. Big swing and a miss on the curveball, and Gallon gets strikeout number seven. Gets the swing and the miss that time. Went to the curveball one more time and make it eight strikeouts for Zach Gallon. Swing and a miss. Zach Allen went to that curveball one more time. He's got nine strikeouts through four. To first. Out there. Throw to second. Got to tag him. They do. Out there. Double play. That'll work. 3 6 on the DP. They get that out at first. Then the tag play comes into play. They get it done. It's not one out, it's two outs. Big moment in the ball game right here. Yep. Their best hitter is at the plate with two on and two out. Swing and a miss. Went back to that curveball. That's a career high 11 strikeouts for Zach Gallen in just five innings. And the Diamondbacks still have a 2 1 lead. Hosmer hits it to right center field. Back goes Varsho. Back onto the track at the wall. It's gone. 
And off the fan and right center, it's out of the yard. This game's tied. Eric Cosmer with his fifth of the year. It's 2-2. Well, on cue, stays inside the baseball on this breaking ball. And after punching out on it twice, he got one that was elevated enough. Eric Hosmer ties this game. This would have been an automatic sack bunt situation back in the day. And it did not work out for Kim. Mantiply came at him with two sinkers and gets a much needed strikeout for the first out. And now the batter is another lefty. It's Trent Grisham. Swing and a miss. He did indeed go back to that breaking pitch, and he's now struck out two in a row after the balk. Yeah. Popped him up. Perdomo wants it. How about Joe Mantiply? Hit the leadoff man. Balked him to second, then got three outs, and we are still tied at two. Swing and a miss. Rojas strikes out. Good start for Taylor Rogers. One down in the ninth inning. On the ground, left side, Abrams on the run. High throw, but Hosmer's tall. Two down. Strike three. A one, two, three, ninth for Taylor Rogers. We're going to the bottom of the ninth, tied at two. Behind second, Varsho coming in. Hager drifting out. Dalton is there. And there's one away. That's bounced over the mound. Hager will charge. Got a hurry. Right. Nicely done. There's a little tapper for Perdomo. Mark Melanson back in town at Petco Park. A 1 2 3 ninth. We'll head to extras. Tied at 2. 0 2. Called strike three. What's popping? Sean Poppin strands that winning run down there at third and gets us to the 11th. So Azokar running at second base obviously represents the potential winning run. Take their chances with Jorge Alfaro. Alfaro grounds it into left field. Azokar coming around. The throw. It's late. Padres win. Jorge Alfaro a walk off RBI single in the bottom of the 11th inning. And the Padres have taken the first two against the Diamondbacks.